has been an awakening. Have you felt it? The seniors are gone. Rumor has it that a man in a mechanical mask has taken the seniors. Only then can you save the seniors. Are you okay? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, good. Uh, what is what, what, what's this? What is this? JWW? J. Walter Wilson! J. Walter Wilson! <laughs> Hello, I am Kevin O. I am a senior at Brown. Hi, my name is Lucy and I'm a senior at Brown. Hi, I'm James. I'm a senior and I go to Brown. Hi, I'm Ashley. I'm a senior at Brown. Hi, my name is Becky. I'm a senior at RISD. Hi, <laughs> why did I wait? Anyway, um, my name is Victoria. I am a senior at JWU. Hi, my name is Lillian. I'm a senior at RISD. Hi, I'm Eugene. I'm a senior at Brown. Hello, I'm Hannah. Um, I'm senior-ish type person at RUF, and I like unicorns and glee. Okay. Hi, my name is Tiffany, and I'm a senior at JWU. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, I hate superlatives. Oh, that's hard. That's such a tough question. You can't ask that without warning. Probably one of the best memories of recent memory was during fall conference where after the day, everyone just gathered in the sanctuary and we all just jammed for many hours. Um, one really great experience that I had um, over a longer period of time was coming back to Brown um, and coming back to RUF after taking um, leave um, for my, in my junior year and just like getting to better know like the, a younger group of people from RUF um, and becoming part of um, that class was a really good experience. Mm, sophomore year, um, my first year on leadership. We, after the freshman LTS dinner in Met Room A or something, um, I remember I felt really, really tired because we'd been doing the fall outreach for about two weeks at that point, and it was just like events every night, meeting so many people. But one of the juniors at, or seniors at that time um, sat down with me, and Eugene was just talking to me about um, where she gets her strength and how, like, she feels like God's really been working and how really inspired she feels by this year. So, and I remember just being really refreshed by that and really enjoying that moment. And, I mean, there's like a lot of fun memories. Like, we did the cliff walk a couple years back and trespassed because most of it was closed off. And we went through like all of the places we weren't supposed to and climbing over and keep out signs and stuff. So that was, I mean, that was interesting and enjoyable. 
I feel like the Halloween party this year was really fun. Like the music was really good and I know Malika and I had a lot of fun dancing. It's just the entire summer before coming, uh, before going into senior year, um, we had summer RUF and we went over what the Holy Trinity men, meant. Um, and the teaching was really good and then we also were able to get really close as a smaller group. Uh, we went um, and did stargazing several times and then we also would go to the beach. Uh, we played uh, frisbee, um, just a lot of fun things all summer um, and I really enjoyed that time to get closer with everyone. Um, my fondest memory would probably be fall conference my first year. I really enjoyed it. I learned a lot and I got to meet a lot of great Um, so RUF has really just helped me be more open and vulnerable to other people and just develop closer friendships and bring me back to Christ. I had great friends that really reached out to me. That is something that I can't uh, really get over even when I'm thinking about it now. Um, the idea that there are people that cared enough about me, were interested in what I had to say, and were committed um, to seeing me through rough times. Um, and I do believe that that commitment, that love that they have shown to me was something that really pointed me towards God. I've met a lot of great people here, a lot of great friends, and it's kind of like the first time in my life where I've had a lot of friends that are Christians, because back home, I really didn't have that. Uh, definitely improved my ability to connect with other people better since I was thrown into a position where I had to communicate with others as the praising leader and while I was a lot more introverted than I already am before I definitely learned to open up and speak more freely with other people. I think RUF has definitely helped me grow through just the people here, uh, the Bible studies, uh, Eddie's sermons on Friday nights. I really, really um, feel like I've grown a lot through college, both just in life and also my spiritual growth, even though sometimes it's been up and down and a roller coaster. But uh, yeah, I think RUF has introduced me to a lot of awesome people. RUF has helped me grow closer to God. I think I've had great um, emotional and spiritual growth in RUF. And I really just learned to be a better person um, and how to and have um, wiser and stronger relationships with people. Through RUF, I have learned what it means to be a Christian. Um, I've learned what it means to be a sinner and what it means to be saved. Um, and that's through the Eddie's teachings and then also through conversations that I've had Joining RUF leadership and then thinking about that in a more focused way about why I try to make friends, why I try to meet people different from myself, um, and understanding that that's what Jesus really did when he made followers. He went out and met all sorts of different people, people very different from him, um, and he welcomed and loved them all. Uh, understanding that really helped me to grow a lot in my relationships and ability to connect with people from all sorts of backgrounds. Know that you have upperclassmen who care for you and are here for you and like we'll talk to you whenever and know that like the seniors who are graduating will talk to you whenever and so we are all family and I really love all you guys so. Either keep on working on friendships that aren't existing currently or they just may end up happening for you because now that every senior year, people I've never talked to, freshman year, I talk to all the time. Just love each other. Um, I think that is really something really important. Um, come to RUF and see each other with really just um, like an open heart. I think that's the most important thing. Keep asking hard questions um, because I think that's really good. And um, to make sure that 
you know, they're, they're seeking answers to these questions from whether it be Eddie, whether it be their pastor. Um, I think that that's really great and I think that RUF is a place where you really can do that. I think my advice for underclassmen is to take advantage of opportunities that you're given. Um, and I mean that by saying opportunities that you're given with like the internships, with um, extracurriculars, all of that, but then also just making sure that you take advantage of like the opportunity of relationships that you have and friendships that you have uh, to make sure that you put um, people first sometimes. It's not all about work and it's not about grades or uh, what job you have or anything, but you really are going to learn um, a lot through just conversations that you have um, and sometimes that'll stick with you much longer than what you're going to be learning in class. My advice to freshmen would be that the most important thing that you could do in your time here is to consider how you um, face struggling, um, face failure, and all the painful things that will inevitably come your way. Um, the best thing that I've received during my time here is to know that I can always go to God. And the way that I've grown in the, what I consider to be the most important um, element of my growth was my perception of God just becoming bigger um, and my awareness of Him and how close He is to me, um, especially during the times where I feel um, down and um, unsure and all of those feelings of um, uncertainty and disappointment, guilt, frustration. Um, to know that God rises up to meet those things. You shouldn't conform to what everyone else thinks you should do. Um, especially um, clothing wise, that's what I did. Don't conform. If everyone's wearing black, you don't know what you don't wear black. Be colorful, enjoy and own your personality. Okay, but I'm still gonna wear black, so that's it. All right, bye. Just if you kind of don't feel like are you up is your thing at first, maybe if you know you're not connecting with people, just try a little harder, maybe. Because at first I kind of felt like that that maybe I couldn't connect with the people at Brown or I couldn't connect with those at RISD, and maybe they didn't understand us at Johnson and Wales. But I think that if you give a little effort, um, you can really make some good friends here. Uh, I guess this is kind of a theme in whatever I've been saying, but just really appreciate the time that you have with people here. It's four years, which seems long, but it passes by really quickly, and I can't believe I'm a senior already. So yeah, just really appreciate the time that you have with the people in RUF, cherish each one of them, and um, don't let school or get in the way of um, people always need to come first. I really miss Eddie's laugh. The first thing I thought of was Eddie's laugh, and I felt bad. <laughs> well, probably was Eddie's laugh a lot. And then I'll just miss a lot of people. Like, I've become really close to people, and I just kind of know I like, just get attached. And so I think I'm just going to miss a lot of people. I think I'm going to miss Friday gathering almost. It's just nice to have that one day a week where you can come and just kind of, you know, be with God, even if you're not always able to do that during the week because you're just so busy and there's just a lot of stuff going on. And it's nice to just be around people that have the same mindset as you. Um, I think that I am going to miss nobody or anything at all. Yeah. No, just kidding. <laughs> no, I'll just, I'll just miss everything. That's kind of the opposite of nothing. I'll miss everything. I'm going to miss um, the sermons. I really enjoyed them. I'm going to miss Eddie. I'm going to miss um, everybody. As a freshman, I saw seniors that I met graduate. Um, as a sophomore, you know, you as you grow older, um, you just you say goodbye. You say goodbye to a lot of good friends, um, and I think this year it's uh, of course the toughest to say goodbye. I mean, definitely the people. Like for me, fellowship, organization, whatever. It comes and goes, it can change, but the people are something you always remember. Just really 
we've just invested so much time in just like just being with one another and and you know obviously having deep conversations doing fun things but just like the presence of other like-minded people um, that are in a similar like, I think I'll just miss having access directly to that community obviously friendships will continue and I look forward to that um, how they will grow but um, I definitely think just like that direct access and I, I, I truly look forward to every Friday night to every Sunday um, night when we when we get together and just have that um, that time together and so I think I'll definitely miss that as part of my schedule I think I'll really miss just the relationships that I've built up because I can see I can remember really clearly when I first joined, the people who were strangers to me are now some of my closest friends. And then sophomore year, the freshmen that I reached out to were once so strange and intimidating to me. Now they're also my really good friends. And we've grown up so much together in Christ. It's just like this really amazing community of people. I've been here for so long, you know, and I think just like RUF has been like a constant in my life for a long time. I think that um, I'm just going to miss that sense of familiarity. Wow, that video was so amazing! I was just, oh, so, I was so beautiful in that video. Just like, it was so amazing. Actually, it was just like really touching. But, you know, I mean, I could have been a star or something. But. Yeah, yeah. Indeed. Yeah. That was really good. It was just like, wait. What's what? wrong? It's... The writing on the disc changed. That's not possible. Yeah, it's like it says like something about like senior like s reaction to the seniors or something. I I'm just gonna like put it back in and just like mm -hmm. check and see if it's the same thing. I think that if I had to choose one word to describe the seniors, the word that I would choose would be available. Christ-like. So wise. I think I would say goofy. Supportive. I would describe the seniors of the word as lively. Old? <laughs> we'll go with that. A real word? We can go with that. <laughs> Old. Okay. <laughs> we can go with that. Good. Uh, I'll say fun. Yeah, really fun. Phenomenal. Funky? Fresh? Yes. That was the word. <laughs> because whenever it seems like they have a whole set of difficulties, a whole slew of things, they look at it and say, yeah. Getting meals like on retreats, those are really fun. Pretty much. Whenever I get to, got to hang out with them. When I came to ADOC, um, uh, Ashley met with me and she like gave me a tour of everything related to Brown and including RISD, uh, which was pretty cool. And I just like automatically felt like part of the RUF family even though I like wasn't even in college yet. So yeah, that was pretty fun. I would have to say getting to know all the little tidbits that make each one of them them. I think anything from you know, Ashley coming up and like punching me repeatedly, or uh, Victoria laughing at any joke you give out. Like she's gonna laugh at it, and she's gonna laugh like uproariously. And it's hilarious. Or, or like seeing Kevin in the background and he's like, or you know, jeans like, you know about that, something, blah blah blah. blah. Semester with the seniors would be. Uh, winter conference this year I remember I think it was our last night so what's that like Saturday night and um, and it was 3 a.m. and I kind of like wanted to eat something and they were being like super Nazi-ish about like not eating in that room and so um, I like found a donut shop that was open 24 hours and I was kind of kidding I was like oh like let's get donuts but then we went and got donuts and it was like 3 in the morning um, and it was great, like we ate donuts at three and like that's a bonding experience. Um, I think it's just spending quality time all together and just sharing the, our life stories and laughing. Um, my fondest memory was first trimester, like staying up until 4 a.m. 
with Victoria and Lillian and Maddox and James um, sometimes. Like, and it was like a really bad decision because I had seven o'clock classes, but I'm like, oh well. <laughs> Um, I really liked that one game night we had at Ashley's house. I don't remember the exact time, but it was super fun. We got to play Mafia and a bunch of other games, and like I realized how strange and savage and fun a lot of these games were, so that was a good time. Well, they're always there for you. Like, I was in Ashley's room the other night, and we were studying and then Ashley was getting like went and got tea for me and Mary and then she like had also brought a dish to for us to put the tea bags in and then she like also was like oh I will like put a, like throw away these tea bags but that like all those like really small things like really made me admire Ashley and it made me think about how I'm gonna miss the seniors and like how much they care for us and like go out of their way for us. Um, they just, I don't know, they're all so fun to be around, um, and each one of them just makes you feel so welcome. I mean, after gathering, we always end up hanging out at one of their dorms or houses. Um, they just genuinely want to be with you, and I just really love that. about the seniors is like their support and love and friendship yeah because I'm like really close to a lot of them especially Victoria and Tiffany and so I'm like really sad at them. I think I miss everything about their oh, fun. They always give this positive energy to other people and they're always there in IU and E. So I'm gonna miss their energy and just their presence general in RUF. It's just like having a group of people that were like a lot more mature than I was that I could look up to. I'll miss them cooking food for us. Um, I'll miss like just having them around and having like people that were really different from me who could offer a lot. What I'm going to miss most about the seniors is them actually being gone because I mean what the seniors have is they have maturity and they have knowledge and they have wisdom. But then once I become a senior, I'm going to, I'm probably not going to be as smart and wise as them, but you know, I'm going to be up there. And, you know, say I'm going to miss their intelligence or their wisdom or the maturity or any of these things isn't enough because it's not what I'm missing. What I'm missing is the actual people who are going to be gone. I will also miss uh, my conversations with Becky in the car. Um, Becky and I tend to have some of our most existential, I think, conversations when we're driving to and from RUF, and I will miss that. Like, distinct, the, those distinct uh, personalities are something that I will dearly miss, and uh, having unique perspectives that I can talk with, that I can uh, ha bounce conversation off with, like, just trying to gauge how they're doing and see what I'll have to do and all, when I reach that stage. I feel like it's something that I want to be appreciative of because they have been cool kids to me and I want to be cool kids back and cool kids to other people. Yeah, that was a really good video. It's just like, don't you realize we're still not closer to finding the seniors? What? Wait. What? The disc says, oh gosh, they're here. Wait, is that even there? Oh, I get it. They're actually here. Don't you see? They're here. They're right there. Oh my gosh. Oh my they're here. Right in front of us. Oh my gosh. Right Hi, in front of me. Hi, Victoria. Hi, Lillian. Hi, Collins. Hi, Kevin. Hi, Lucy. Hi, Eugene. Hi, Becky. Hi, James. Hi, Ashley. Hi, Tiffany. Oh my gosh. I finally get it. All of us seniors, our time in RUF has come to an end. And we're not going to all be here in the same room, the same environment, all together. And speaking for all of RUF, we are going to miss you a lot. But I know that wherever you go, God will do wonderful things through you, as you have done for RUF. 
I, and I know that one day, when Christ comes again, we will see each other again. So, bye. Bye.